Hi everyone, welcome back to Mrs. Ruth channel. I hope everyone is doing great. In today's video, it's the classic Ghanaian spinach stew. I made this stew with spinach, not contumere, and I also added fried beef and some boiled eggs. So, as usual, if you want to know how I made this stew, please keep on watching and I'll see you next time. So, now let's get started. So, I'm going to pour palm oil in my cooking pot and let it heat up and then when it's hot I am going to add my homemade momone which is stinky fish I am also going to post the recipe to the momone so I'm going to let it fry until it starts to decompose so anywhere between uh, four to five minutes and then I am going to add in my sliced onions Next, I am going to stir it and let it fry until it becomes translucent for about 4 to 5 minutes as well on a medium heat. In the meantime, I have already chopped my fresh tomatoes and I've got here about 7 medium sized tomatoes. And I'm going to blend it with some onion, garlic, ginger and scotch bonnet. This is it now. I am blending the tomatoes, garlic, onion, and scotch bonnet together. Please feel free to use canned tomatoes or tomato sauce or even chopped tomatoes. It works with it. But this time I only had refreshments. Next, pour it into the cooking pot. Next, don't forget to stir it check the heat if it's not too hot make sure you cook it on medium heat and then don't forget to cover it then we'll let this cook for about 15 to 20 minutes on a medium heat to low my dear friends i am back and i'm going to check on my stew and it's looking great so now i'm going to add in my fried beef this step is optional you don't have to i just wanted to add some meat to chew on in this spinach stew so feel free to add it or not or even to use any other meat you prefer next give it a stir lower the heat and leave it to cook for about five to seven minutes so now i'm going to add in my spinach so these are thawed frozen spinach and i've got two bags but if you want to use the fresh ones please go ahead and use it it is even better so make sure you chop it very very small and of course if you really want to do it the traditional way and use contemporary please go ahead and use it as well but this is the fast version we don't always get access to the fresh um, Ghanaian contemporary in my area for that I have to travel far <laughs> go into London so yeah so when you've added the spinach don't forget to stir it and then leave it to cook for about two three minutes so in the meantime I am going to beat my eggs this time I did not use agushi or agusi I just used the egg version now I'm going to check on my stew and I'm going to add my seasoning so when I'm making spinach stew I just use um, smoked crayfish seasoning powder and I also use salt to taste not more than that and as you can see you might think that the stew is very dry um i did it deliberately is because i want to control the quantity of palm oil i'm using so in the end i'm going to add a bit more so now i'm going to stir it and then i'm going to drizzle in the eggs And then I am going to gently stir it. Do not stir it too much. That's just enough. 
and then to create a steam we are going to cover it and let it cook for about five minutes on a medium heat to low hey guys so I am back and I'm going to check on my spinach stew and it's looking great I'm just going to stir it and then after stirring I am going to add in a bit more palm oil as I said in the beginning some people just like it this way but I like it a bit more oily but I mean if you leave it like this it's a bit more healthy okay so I'm adding it off camera and guys I am back so this is my spinach stew now and it looks amazing it smells amazing and as you can see I've added a bit more palm oil to it and this is exactly how I like it so this recipe is almost finished but you know I need my spinach stew with my boiled eggs but of course this is optional because if you think there are already enough eggs in the stew you don't have to um, do this but we love our eggs don't we so yeah so next stir it gently and then leave it on to cook for a further three to five minutes on a medium heat and uncovered and that our stew is ready our Ghanaian spinach stew made with frozen spinach is ready so I guess you know what comes next so we're gonna have to serve it so in our house we usually eat it with some boiled plain rice but of course you know you can eat it with whatever you like it goes well with boiled yam and boiled plantain and yeah so let me know how you are going to eat your spinach stew with do you also like to eat it with rice just like us please let me know in the comment section and this too really looks good it's not a joke so guys this is it this is Ghanaian spinach stew or contemporary stew and I really hope you enjoy watching this recipe and that you are also going to try it don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already share my videos put the notification bell on so that you don't miss any of my videos and I'll see you next time thank you so much for watching bye bye Let's go.